Hi everyone, it's Muriel. I have a haul I wanted to share with you. We went out early this morning, two places, and then I got something uh, yesterday, I believe, and so I want to go ahead and reach out and share it with you before I put it away. So, um, a couple of weeks ago, I went to Daiso. Haven't been there in a long time, but I went to find some shred, and it's this really beautiful, light, uh, thin, pink shred that um, was shared with me by Bona. Bona had gifted um, several of us a small little kind of thank you sweet friend gift and she had this beautiful shred inside of it. Not the typical shred the, that we all use. Of course it's from Daiso so it's a little different and when I did go there I didn't find it. This was the only kind that I found. I was a little upset but I bought it anyway. Um, I don't even know what it's called. But you can see, it almost has that Easter uh, grassy look about it. But it's pretty. So I thought, you know, I can use it. So I only got one bag. But then we went back the other day, and I found what I wanted. And I picked up two of them. They only had two, so I bought them. So this is the pink shred I am referencing. It's really light. It's thin. Um, you just need just a little, it's like a little nest type of uh, feeling it gives me and uh, when she packaged it it was so sweet it's called paper cushion pink so you know Daiso now I think is a dollar 75 now so anyway so I found those two and then I found one that I could use for the fall um, paper cushion is what they call it so it has that um, burlap um, khaki color look not khaki but like a tan brown whatever look to it but that would be sweet and then I found one back to that look of a silver gunmetal I don't know but I thought this would be interesting as well so I got kind of what I wanted I also um picked up some bags baggies or some plastic bags for some tags that I am back on the bandwagon with making and I'm also making sure that what I have when it gets dispersed it's an even amount so I found these um, clear plastic seal bags these are two by three so to speak and they do have the tape on the top and they're 75 in each pack so that was a good deal for me and then uh, this one here is a little bit bigger it's more like a two little over two and a half here but a close to four inches here same thing has the plastic um, seal at the top and then um, this one here I got and this one I got for um, rosettes when I start making my rosettes um, I don't have a rosette close by but I did um, open this one up and thought if the rosette was in there it could be folded over and it would be the perfect size this has 50 in it and these are almost four inches across and close to uh, five and a half or more six inches in length okay so that was all we got from Daiso and we got out of there then I went to uh, Dollar Tree this afternoon um, the other day I was making um, something and I needed some Mod Podge. I don't even know what it was I was making. So I pulled this out and for the life of me, I cannot open it. I'm going to take it to work and have some strong hands crack this open because it's plenty in there and I do want to still use it. So anyway, woe is me. Um, I picked up two at Dollar Tree. I got the gloss and the matte. So, um, I used to have tons of that. I don't know. I looked around. I go, you really? I don't have any Mod Podge? That's like so strange. But anyway, um, let's see. This, oh, I got one of these at the Dollar Tree. I don't know why. I, when I saw it, I grabbed it as if they were, you know, a hot commodity. But I just felt like, I don't know, someone said that they hadn't seen these in a while or that they're not making them anymore. So I have one that someone made for me a long time ago, Anna Yanis. Hi, Anna, if you're looking, if you're listening, um, I will always have that one. And then um, I was going through my uh, Halloween fall boxes this afternoon, and, and I do have one, but it's darker. So I don't know if someone uh, stained it with some ink, but then I just grabbed this one here. So I won't be using it this year, but I just kind of like these because you could just gift them so many different ways. You can put the pokey tool in here. You can put the flowers in here. You can put the rosettes in here. So... 
got that. I got another set of these. Um, I'm gonna be making some wreaths shortly. And these kind of help hold the mesh together while you're making bundles. Um, Tracy from um, Country Charm by Tracy swears by these. So every time I go, I try to get another one. So I don't know how many I have, but I need enough for 24 bundles. So hopefully I have that many so far. So I just picked up one of those. I got this here because they had the uh, boots and hats on them uh, to decorate my daughter's and I um, Halloween tree that we're going to have at our desk. We just have that one. I it probably was at Target and um, we're just going to hang these type of things with bats off the branches. So I picked that up. I picked up one of these. I remember using these long, a couple of years ago, but um, I just got a pack. Um, I got these and then I forgot that I had bought a flower dye. So maybe the combination of the two will, will work. And I found this at the Dollar Tree. I almost died laughing. It's a Monopoly board. The reason why I got it is because we have the game. Uh, Costco just came out with a beautiful Monopoly game. For those of you know, I work for Costco Wholesale. And um, in collaboration with, um, I don't know, who's the maker of Monopoly? Is it Hasbro? I'm not sure. But it's a beautiful board, so if your store doesn't have it, look, keep looking. It should be getting it in, but it is a beautiful and everything about it is Costco. So the reason why I got this one is because I don't own a Monopoly game besides the one that I have um, that was uh, gifted to me. We haven't opened it up yet, but I wanted to use this to kind of get back in the swing of things on how the game is played. My daughter says she's played it in college. I haven't played it. Oh, good gravy. 40 years, I swear. I don't, yeah. So this one here is with stickers. So this is going to be interesting. There's a game board. There's 80 color forms. I don't know what those are. 32 cards, 10 paper tokens, 175 Monopoly money bills, three dice, and the instructions. So $4.75. I thought this was the cutest thing. <laughs> so I will let you know how. Um, it, I told my daughter, let's just get a bottle of Prosecco one Friday night. And let's just whip this out so we can kind of get familiar before we pull the game board out. So that was my Dollar Tree. Oh, and then I got uh, a pack of this natural juke cord because I can't find mine. Um, then we went to Wally World. Haven't been to Walmart in a long time. Um, and I'm not sure why I went. Oh, I had watched Happy Mail Queen and she was Happy Mail Queen. Not Happy Mail Queen. I'm sorry. Um, it was another uh, YouTuber and she did a... Um, not a, so much a haul, but she went into um, Wally, uh, Wal Walmart and showed all their Christmas stuff. And then she went into Hobby Lobby and showed all their Christmas stuff. So I thought, oh, let's go to Walmart. And they do have a lot of their Christmas stuff out. And I didn't want to get too much. I didn't get too much. Uh, the first thing I did was go grab the magnets. I love these magnet sheets. They are $1.97 and you get two. And they work well for me. So I always pick up um, as many as I can get there because there was one time you couldn't find them. Uh, Louisa sent me some where she had found them. They were marked down to a dollar. So anyway, so I, I always get those because I have dies coming in and has come in. And I have a box over here where they haven't been mounted on the magnets yet. So I took care of that. And then this is what um, I went to uh, Walmart to get. These peppermint picks <laughs> so so cute so so cute these were only 98 cents now i know what i saw uh she showed must have been at hobby lobby but it was the same thing because they were in a box it was like six in a box so um i thought oh that'd be cute to do something with and gift them um but when i got there this is what they had and this is fine i love this so i'm going to go ahead and put these you know, away so that they don't get dirty before I uh, use them on my projects. And then um, I picked up these wooden. I was looking for something a little bigger, but this will work because when I make my real sets, I want to do a lot of layering with them. So um, this will be just fine, these wooden shapes. Um, I did pick up this, and I don't even know if this is 
uh, this may be uh, Dollar Tree, excuse me, um, but this is just Cedar Picks. My Snow and Cocoa um, gold twigs and things like that are getting pretty low. So I thought I could use these, just kind of peel off some of the little uh, leaves and use them in my projects and you get five sheets, five picks. So that was that. And then um, I went over to the ornament section. Didn't go too crazy, but I saw these mini unicorns. I had to get these for personal reasons. So there's only three, two dollars and forty-eight cents. You know, these used to be like a dollar ninety-seven. So uh, everything has gone up, but still not too bad. So I got that, and then I got these here. Um, so cute, the little bear in the truck. They're wooden. There's three of each. You have Santa in a car. You have him on a scooter, and then you have him in a truck with the tree in the back. And they have the string, you can see it's like red and white with the pearl on it, the bead on it. So that's pretty cool. Mini ornaments. And then the last one was um, this one here. And the string is in the back, which I thought was cool. I love that kind of red and white um, twine. So this I'm going to use on the tree that I have at work. It's going to be a desktop tree, very small, because our, our offices are new and you get a small space like a jail cell. <laughs> Everybody has the same size. I mean, it's really it's really nice. It's beautiful. It's clean. You have just what you need, right? And I'm at the building three days a week, so I don't need um, more than that. So I will, do, will have a small tree, and I thought I would just do, it's a white tree, the uh, candy cane minty look for it, with it. So that was it, you guys. I don't have anything else to share. I did pick up some foam board from... Um, Dollar Tree as well. This is just a piece of it that I have. I'm going to cut it up um, and do some die cutting of stuff, but um, I just bought one of those pieces. So that's it. Um, I have a, um, my next project is going to be a uh, banner. My daughter wants a banner. I decided that I'm going to make it really simple. It's going to say Boo, B-O-O. -O, that's it. So I've got the tags out that I found. Um, right here, I had these I think there's uh, there's <laughs> four of them. I have them over here because I was gathering everything. So um, these are from Recollections. They are three by six. And um, like I said, I have four, but I just need three to say boo. And I'm going to cover up that hole there with paper and then put the, yeah, it's going to be adorable. So I want to kind of get started on that so that she can take it in uh, this week. What is this week, the ninth no good gravy the uh wow it's already the 16th that can't be no that can't be no 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 no, no. it's the ninth okay because my mother's birthday was the seventh uh saturday yesterday and my sister went to her grave and put more flowers up so okay so we're good so but i do want to have it for her to take this week so she can have at least one two three four weeks of Halloween stuff on her desk. So that's it for now, you guys. Thank you so much for popping in. And I hope you guys have a wonderful Saturday. Bye now. Or Sunday, excuse me. <laughs> Bye now.